Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the super easy and delicious almond chocolate toffee. This candy recipe is a nice change from your regular candy you have during this time of the year. I love making candy and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to start off with is toasting our almonds. So I have a half a cup of whole almonds and a half a cup of sliced almonds. So we're going to slightly toast our almonds in a 365 degree oven for about 10 minutes. So once they're out of the oven, you're going to roughly chop your almonds and then you're going to set it aside. So now we're going to make our toffee. So in a pot, you're going to add one and a half cups of butter, three and a half cups of sugar. I know it's a lot of sugar, but it is candy after all. Three quarter cups of water, a quarter cup of corn syrup, two teaspoons of vanilla, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So on medium high heat, using a candy thermometer, we're going to cook this until it reaches 300 degrees. So as you can see, I had to change my pot because the first one was a little bit too small. So just make sure that you're using a big enough pot so you have enough room because as you can see, it starts to bubble really, really fast. So just continue stirring until it turns a nice golden brown. So once your toffee has reached 300 degrees, you can remove your candy thermometer and now we're going to mix in half of the chopped almonds to the toffee. So now we're going to pour it into a pan that's lined with parchment paper. Also guys, you can use a baking sheet instead of the pan that I'm using if you want a thinner toffee. So now we're going to let this set for about 10 to 15 minutes. So next we're going to melt 12 ounces of chocolate chips. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate, but you guys can use dark chocolate or even milk chocolate for this recipe. So now that the toffee has set, we're going to spread our semi-sweet chocolate right on top making sure that the chocolate is spread out evenly. So now we're going to add the remaining chopped almonds right on top of the chocolate. And we're going to let this set until the chocolate has hardened. So now that everything is nice and set, we can start to remove the parchment paper from the toffee. So I do recommend using parchment paper instead of butter, only because it's super easy to remove the toffee from the parchment paper, and also it's easy cleanup.
You guys can break up the toffee any way you like. You can break it up into little pieces or just leave it the way it is. But this was so much fun to make. I love making candy. It's one of my favorite things to do. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.